The day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Thursday, April 13, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money, and if you are interested in props and parlay picks, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link to our Patreon and to our new channel in the description and comments section below. St. Louis Blues vs. Dallas Stars. In their 5-2 victory, Jason Robertson led the team in points with three, but all his points were assists. Wyatt Johnston scored twice, while Tyler Seguin had a goal and an assist on the day. Johnston had the most shots on goal with five, and Scott Wedgwood stopped 16 of only 18 total shots in the victory. Dallas's offense is inside the top 10 in goals per game, with an average of 3.46. They are fourth in power play percentage with a 25.2% success rate, and they are 14th in shots per game with 31.9. While they are around the top 10 in most offensive categories, they are number one in face-off percentage with a 54.6% win rate. Jason Robertson is the focal point of the offense, leading the squad in points, goals, time on the ice, among offensive players, and overall shots. So far, he has 309 shots, while the person with the second highest number has 204. Robertson has 46 goals and 63 assists on the year. However, he trails Joe Pavelski in plus ratio. Pavelski is currently in the lead with a plus 42. Jamie Benn is tied with Robertson and Pavelski for the most power play goals, scoring 13 on the year. Robertson also only trails Miro Heiskanen in power play assists, with Robertson securing 28 and Heiskanen earning 32. Robertson is averaging just under 19 minutes of ice time per game, ranking top among all offensive players on the squad. Mason Marchment has the most penalty minutes on the team with 80. Dallas won their most recent game by a score of 5-2, and I expect Dallas to perform just as well if not better at home. Dallas has much more to play for with the number one seed in the division on the line, and they are more talented from top to bottom. They are a top five team in scoring and goals against, while St. Louis has trouble shooting the puck and converting on power plays. They are also terrible on the penalty kill, which Dallas will use to their advantage. Dallas is 7-1 in their last eight versus a team in the same division, and the Blues are 0-4 in their last four games on zero days of rest. Our team picked Dallas Stars minus 1.5 goals. Much like in the previous game, Dallas will use their offensive prowess to dominate a Blues squad that is looking forward to the end of the season. Dallas still wants to fight hard, considering the number one seed in the division is not locked up yet, which will result in more goals scored. The Stars are almost completely healthy, and with their top power play unit against a terrible penalty kill of the Blues, Dallas could feast here. St. Louis may put in one or two goals, but Dallas will roll into the playoffs with momentum and a high-scoring affair. Our total pick is over six goals. Philadelphia Flyers vs. Chicago Blackhawks. The Flyers are having a miserable season with their offense letting them down, scoring only 2.65 goals per game. Travis Konechny, Kevin Hayes, and Owen Tippett have scored 73 goals and 85 assists, but the rest of the offense has struggled. Only seven skaters scored 12 goals or more, and opponents eliminated the hapless offense with ease. The Flyers are having a miserable season with their offense letting them down, scoring only 2.65 goals per game. Travis Konechny, Kevin Hayes, and Owen Tippett have scored 73 goals and 85 assists, but the rest of the offense has struggled. Only seven skaters scored 12 goals or more, and opponents eliminated the hapless offense with ease. The Blackhawks went from bad to worse this season with their offense falling apart, scoring only 2.44 goals per game, with only 2.25 goals per game in games since March. Taylor Radish, Andreas Athanasiu, and Tyler Johnson have scored 51 goals and 54 assists, but the rest of the offense has struggled. Only five active skaters have 10 goals or more, and opponents can eliminate the awful offense as a result. This is going to be a great game between two teams desperate to end the season on a high note. The Blackhawks look to win on their home ice, but the Flyers look to step up and control this game against arguably the worst team in the NHL. 
the Flyers should pile on the goals against the Blackhawks, who allow 3.63 goals per game, with Kevin Hayes, Owen Tippett, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with great puck movement. The Flyers should limit a Blackhawks offense that is scoring only 2.44 goals per game, with Travis Anheim and Ivan Provorov stepping up at the blue line and cutting off angles to the net on the rush while limiting shooting lanes, allowing goaltender Carter Hart to make plenty of big saves. The Flyers should win the game with a strong performance on the road. Take the Flyers' money line as road favorites. And our total pick is over. San Jose Sharks vs Edmonton Oilers. There is an absolute major difference in the sport this season in terms of power play, as Edmonton is best in the sport with a 32.4 power play percentage, while San Jose is all the way down at 25th in NHL, with an 18.4 power play percentage up to this point. The defense as of late shows a major difference as well with the Sharks allowing 6 goals in their previous 3 games, while the Oilers are giving up 0.8 goals in their last 5 games. The favorite is 1 in 45 of the last 62 games against one another, so go with the Edmonton Oilers to cover the puck line. Our team pick is Edmonton Oilers minus 1.5 goals. The San Jose Sharks have not been able to add any points last time out after a 6-2 road loss against the Winnipeg Jets. Defenseman Eric Carlson led the Sharks as he finished with a pair of goals throughout the game. They scored two goals on 21 shots and scored on one of their four power play attempts throughout the entire game. Their defense struggled as they gave up a goal on both power play opportunities. James Reimer struggled between the pipes as he allowed six goals on 33 attempts. This Sharks team has been scoring the puck at a depleted level, as they are currently 25th in the NHL, with 231 total goals scored. Defenseman Eric Carlson is leading the team as he is dishing the puck well with 100 points, 25 goals, 75 assists, and scored 4-9 points in his previous five games. On the defensive side of the ice, they are struggling as their opponents are scoring 313 total goals, which is the third most in the NHL up to this point. Our total pick is over. Winnipeg Jets vs Colorado Avalanche the Winnipeg Jets were in danger of falling from first place in the division to missing the playoffs just a few short weeks ago, but with Connor Hellebuyck putting this team on his back, they now head into the postseason with a big point to prove. In their past six overall games, the Jets have come away with a 5-1 record, as well as being 4-1 in their past five games played against teams with a winning record, so even as the underdog in this one, they'll no doubt be a force to be reckoned with. The Colorado Avalanche have been red hot in the past few months, and with just one point separating them and the Dallas Stars atop the Central Division, they will be looking to clinch home ice advantage through the first two rounds in this game. In their past 113 games played at home, the Avalanche have an astonishing 80-33 record, as well as being 9-3 in their past 12 games played on one day rest, and with the team getting healthier by the week, they have a good shot at going back to back this year. Despite their differing form in recent months, these two central division rivals have played some very fun games in recent memory, and with both coming in on the back of very consistent performances over the past week, it should be a tough, hard-fought matchup. In the past 10 head-to-head -head matchups played in Colorado, the Avalanche have come away with an impressive 8-2 record, with the home team having a 25-10 mark in the past 35 overall meetings, so while Colorado should come away winners here, it's not going to come easy. Our team pick is Colorado. As mentioned, the Jets have received some elite goaltending in recent times, but with one of the best and deepest defensive units in the game on the other side, this one could be completely different, especially with the over being 6-1 in the Avalanche's last seven overall games. In the past eight head-to-head -head meetings between these rivals, the over is 5-2-1, as well as being a perfect 4-0 in the past four games taking place in Colorado, so expect more fantastic offense in this one. Keep it simple, take the over. Vancouver Canucks vs Arizona Coyotes. The Coyotes have struggled mightily over the last few weeks. They've dropped five of their previous six home contests, while conceding a whopping 28 goals in the process. The Canucks are playing in a much better form than Arizona, so I'm going with Vancouver to win straight up. Vancouver is arguably a much better offensive team than Arizona. The Canucks own the 12th best power play percentage in the league, 22.3%, whereas Arizona ranks 24th in this category, 19.1%. 
Also, Vancouver boasts the fifth highest shooting percentage, 11.0%, so I'm expecting the Canucks' offense to make a difference. Our team pick is Vancouver Canucks. And our total pick is over. Los Angeles Kings vs Anaheim Ducks The Anaheim Ducks are one of the worst teams in the NHL this season, right in the Connor Bedard sweepstakes, with a 23-46-12 record, coming into tonight's game on an almost impressive 12-game losing streak. They're coming off a 3-2 loss at home to the Canucks on Tuesday night, where they got outshot 36-35, but outplayed Vancouver by an expected goal rate of 4.373.56. The Los Angeles Kings have had a good season with their spot in the playoffs clinched, in third place in the Pacific Division, with a 46-25-10 record. They can lock up that position with a win tonight, currently holding a two-point lead over the Kraken, who are in the first wild card spot in the West. The Kings ended a three-game losing streak on Monday night, with a 3-0 shutout win at home against the Canucks. They outshot Vancouver 28-20 and outplayed them by an expected goal rate of 2.121.27, with Junas Corpusillo picking up his first shutout of the season. LA's been good offensively this season, scoring an average of 3.32 goals per game, the 11th most in the NHL, on an average of 32.4 shots per game. They've generated the 15th most expected goals per 60 minutes, 3.2, and the 15th fewest high danger shots in the league. The Kings power play has been very good, the third best in the league, scoring on 25.3% of their opportunities. Anz Kopitar, 72 points, Kevin Fiala, 49 assists, and Adrian Kemp, 38 goals, lead the Kings in scoring this season. The Kings are the far superior team in this matchup this season. They already won both previous games between these teams easily this season, covering the puck line in three goal wins, winning 4-1 and 6-3. They have a huge edge on both ends of the ice. LA scored the 11th most goals in the NHL, having generated the 15th most expected goals and the 15th fewest high danger shots in the league, with the third best power play in the NHL. They've allowed the 15th fewest goals in the NHL, having given up the 5th fewest expected goals and the 4th fewest high danger shots. Meanwhile, the Ducks are awful on both ends of the ice, having scored the second fewest goals in the NHL, having generated the fewest expected goals and the fewest high danger shots in the league. They've been the worst defensive team in the league, allowing the most goals in the NHL, having given up the most expected goals and the second most high danger shots. Take the Kings to cover the puck line on the road. Our team pick is Kings minus 1.5 goals. I'm not expecting a whole lot of scoring in this game and expect this game to hit the under. The Kings' defense has been good this season, allowing the 15th fewest goals in the NHL, having given up the 5th fewest expected goals and the 4th fewest high danger shots. They should be able to shut down a pathetic offense for Anaheim that has only scored the second fewest goals in the NHL, having generated the fewest expected goals and the fewest high danger shots in the league. Law should be able to limit the scoring for Anaheim to a goal or two and keep this game under the total, even in a multi-goal blowout win for the Kings. Take the under here and don't expect much scoring, especially for the Ducks. Vegas Golden Knights vs Seattle Kraken Well the Kraken had won five of their previous games before losing to Vegas in the last one all of the wins came against weak teams. They have lost two of three games facing the Golden Knights this season, and with each team still having something to play for don't look for the top players to get much rest. I think Grubauer will get the start, and while the Kraken have won his last three starts, they were facing weak teams, and they have lost his last three starts facing playoff-bound teams. Vegas will not let the top spot in the West slip through their fingers, as they will play well on both sides of the ice and get the W cementing their top seed in the West for the postseason take the Golden Knights. When these teams met in the last game the total went under, and that is the pick I am leaning towards in this game. In the last 24 road games for Vegas the under record is 15-7-2. The Kraken were killing it on the attack in their five-game win streak before only scoring one goal in their last game. The five wins came against weak teams, and they will not get much on the Vegas defense in this regular season finale. Like the last game the Golden Knights will score a few goals and their defense will shine, which is the main reason the under is the pick for this game. Take the under 6 goals. 